So this is going to require infrastructure like we've never seen before. All of the fundamentals for a city on Earth need to be recreated in the most hostile environment with the most limited resources. So where do we begin? With roads. Yes, where we're going, we do need roads and landing pads and other solid surfaces to operate and build on. The problem that needs to be solved is dust. The lunar surface is coated in a relatively thin, yet incredibly light and fluffy layer of ultra-fine dust. Each grain of this moon sand is sharp and abrasive like broken glass. During the Apollo missions, it was known to cut through the outer layers of spacesuits and scratch the glass on the astronauts' helmets. To make matters worse, the dust is also clingy. Dust accumulation on the lunar roving vehicle caused it to overheat by clogging up the radiator. The trick is that without atmosphere and with very little gravity, once you kick up dust, it can really travel. When Apollo 12 landed on the moon, they tried to get as close as possible to a probe called Surveyor 3 that had already touched down on the moon a few years earlier. NASA wanted astronauts to go check in on it, and what they found was that even though the Apollo spacecraft had landed 180 meters away, Surveyor had been sandblasted by dust that the lander's rocket engines had kicked up. So if we are going to build a moon base where people are constantly landing and lifting off and driving vehicles and walking around, then we need to do as much as possible to eliminate dust from our lives. That means roads and landing pads and hard surface areas around our base camp. The quick and dirty answer in the short term could be rhino snot, 